Remember the, the uh, northwest shelf of the Black Sea, which receives the uh, effluent of the Danube River, uh, had the same trajectory that the Mississippi River did. Early in the 70s, the nutrients started going up. They had no low oxygen. They started having more and more and more until it got to be 40,000 square kilometers. And then with the unfortunate economic collapse of the Soviet Union, there were no more subsidies for nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizers. So it went up and then it crashed. And when it crashed, it was a severe economic disaster, but it also reduced the nutrients um, to their pre-industrialization um, pre and pre-agricultural level. And within about five or six years, there was no longer any low oxygen in the Danube Delta. So it's a pretty good ecological, ecological experiment that shows if you reduce the nutrients, you can reduce the size of the low oxygen. Now, their ecosystem hasn't come back completely. There, there's still problems, uh, you know, different phytoplankton, zooplankton communities and fisheries have not rebounded.